Dave, Ross just said that he didn't feel like he could get into any sort of cruise control or get into any sort of rhythm. When you're watching that from the dugout, what are you seeing from him? Because he's been so good in the, his previous three starts. No, yeah, I mean, you're going to have those nights. Um, you know, he's been very good for us, very consistent. Um, I think, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. You just didn't see that rhythm that he typically gets into. Um, and a little bit, the finish on a lot of his pitches tonight for me just didn't have that same finish that we're used to, whether it's the late life in the, in the zone with the fastball or the finish to the breaking ball. There were some good throws in there. Um, but, um, you know, we didn't help ourselves defensively. A uh, couple plays um, that could have been made. But, you know, it's baseball, and, and you got to give those guys credit. They came with energy, and they got a big hit when they needed it. How do you write the shift beginning tomorrow? You still have an opportunity to split the series with this team. You haven't lost a series all year. What needs to be different tomorrow? No, I, I really think, um, you know, I, I honestly, I, I don't think the scoreboard was certainly not indicative of our at-bat quality, our intent. We squared a lot of balls up tonight. I, I really, really love the fight, uh, the compete in the batter's box. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that we just got to continue to stay the course. Some guys walk away from the batter's box and they look very defeated and frustrated. What conversations, if any, do you have to have with some of your offensive players or position players to make sure that they don't allow themselves to get discouraged continuing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of it. Um, you're not going to get, you're not going to be hot all the time. And, and yeah, there's some guys that are really, you know, having a tough time when they do square, square up a baseball, there's a guy there to, to make the play. So um, we just got to keep grinding, keep going. Um, but if we continue to take the at-bats um, and have that fight that we had tonight, we'll put up a big number, you know, in the next, in the coming days. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from Michael Duarte. Go ahead. Next question is from Juan Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Davis, what are you seeing in uh, Cody's at bats? Um. Wow, you know, I, I think that, you know, each team is is uh, pitching them different, um, you know, whether it's top of the zone, these guys are trying to crowd them, some guys are trying to spin them. Um, you know, he, he's battling, he's grinding. And, and um, you know, there's some balls that he's squared up that just seem to be atom balls, you know, right at guys. Um, but, you know, he's working really hard and um, it, it's going to come. It's going to come, and he and the hitting guys are, are every single day. There's progress. Hasn't shown yet uh, in the batter's box in a game, but I'm confident it will. You guys sense at all just this is a shortened season. You know, we're already more than a quarter of the way through. The guys are maybe pressing more than they would seven, 16, 17 games into a season. I think that's, that's a fair point. Um, you know, our encouragement to the guys is just, you know, take it bats to help us win baseball games and um, – Knowing that the season isn't six months long, yeah, I understand there's not time to catch up, but guys are going to struggle for a two-week period. That happens every year. Um, but you've got to kind of re be a, have the ability to focus and kind of drown that noise, that batting average, you know, out of your, out of your head. Thank you. Next question is from Allison Twitter. Go ahead, Allison. Hi, Dave. Just a question about Justin Turner reaches a milestone today, a thousandth career hit. Um, just from where he came from and, and what he's meant to the organization, how you know, not such a great night overall tonight, but how happy can you be for him to see that milestone? That's a big positive for um, big positive from tonight. And uh, it's something Justin uh, is and, and should be very proud of. Um, a lot of people along the way helped him, but, you know, no, no more than himself. And to, you know, reach that 1,000 hit milestone, considering where his career started, you know, that's uh, quite an accomplishment. Um, and what he's meant to the Dodgers, I, I think that I'm big on legacy and, and Justin's legacy with the Dodger organization and the fan base and greater Los Angeles is going to live for a long time. 
Next question is for Eric. Stephen, go ahead, Eric. Hey, Dave. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask this earlier, but just to make sure, it, it is Julio still going tomorrow uh, on the mound? You know, you know what, um, Eric? We're going to go. Uh, we're going to. We're going to pitch uh, Gonsolin. Tony Gonsolin is going to pitch tomorrow, and um, Julio will pitch the next day. And so you're keeping everyone on five days rest for now. Is that like part Correct. of it? Correct. Correct. Thank you. Next question is from Jeff Saunders. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Dave. I wanted to see what, what did you think of the closing at the plate in, in the second? Excuse me? The the collision at the plate. What was your view of that play? Uh, no, I I just thought it was one of those where uh, Chris was in no man's land. He was, uh, you know, Hedgie did a nice job trying to make the make the tag, get the ball, receive it. Um, Chris was just going in, and he was kind of caught to slide around him, slide to the to the home plate. Um, Hedgie came up and got the throw. So it, it's just a baseball play, and obviously. Um, there were some words exchanged last series, but there's just a lot of respect, you know, from both clubs. Cool. Thank you. No question from Mario Castillo. Go ahead. Stay with uh, Tony coming up. Um, is there a corresponding move yet? Uh, we're we're kind of trying to sift through it. Um, we haven't made that decision yet, Jorge. Okay. Thank you. You get, you got it. Question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Look at that a little more, Dave. Why the decision to start Tony and move Julio back? I, I think right now, um, trying to appreciate that we've got 17 in a row, um, short and obviously summer camp, and we want to make sure that we really – take care of the starters and, and pitchers in general. So I think that right now to give them the extra day over a few turns, I think makes sense for everybody. And, uh, you know, we can kind of push them a little bit more as we get into September. Anything that uh, you saw in Julio's last start to make you think he needed the extra day? No, no. Um, I, I just think that, you know, the way Tony threw, and it's more of not just a Julio thing. I think it's, it's a good thing for all of our starters. Thanks.